record hello everyone <laughs> i feel so tired already yeah, yeah, yeah so maybe you can uh what so what what did we did oh my god yes, happened? Really tired. <laughs> yeah <laughs> maybe we don't publish this wow. um it's okay that was very intense, yeah? it was intense so what we had one hour of development and then well which was just copying data encoding videos and then we had two hours <laughs> uploading <laughs> uploading yeah. uploading yeah and then we had two hours of practice <clears throat> yeah and also we so we the idea was i proposed at the beginning like yeah uh, to have some video because i i did it in the previous practice to have some base video and then on on, on that uh yeah start from there but then now to uh he proposed that instead of using our video or own videos, we just share the video with the other one. Um, yeah, in order to, uh, because at, at some point I was expressing to you that I was struggling at, while we were in the developing time, I was struggling thinking, what am I gonna do with all the material that I have? Because I have, I'm biased with, with my own I have my yeah it's my, my my material no so and then uh, now to propose is that uh what if just we use the other one material and that i think that was a, a great uh, proposal because it just frees the space like ah, okay this is just material you know it's it's mm. nothing or it's not personal something yeah true and i think that was no i mean what that was the framework yes <clears throat> And but I, I have to say that I didn't really see how you were using the video. Oh, but yeah, you were using, I mean, I was noticing the sound a lot, but uh, uh, in the end, well, maybe because I didn't really see it live lab. Much. No, I uh, because I was, I was getting, uh, I was using, I have, so what I did is like, I have a media mix and I think I will repeat it like that. I have three windows. Um, I have one, one output, right? On main output and, and now i have three layers in a bdmx so then the first layer was uh, i name it naoto live which was actually so it was the switcher from live lab and the second uh layer was naoto video uh was one of your videos and the third one was a question mark that it was uh something so what i did at some point is like uh in the mid so in auto in the video i use some cosine wave uh, to uh, put the opacity up and down constantly on the video but it was there it was there like from uh, the fading from out the video the video the auto video yeah and then i choose i change it sometimes like but it was most Hey, but is it from let's say from the minute 20 no let's say yeah because i think still it took me i i saw the, the clock it took me like 45 minutes more or less until i got something that i could play with i see i don't know how it was with you the, the... yeah like i think around that time until around that time i was also <clears throat> debugging which i couldn't fix in the end but like i was really relaxed because you know like i can just take time to debug stuff if it's not working i mean we had right. two hours so why not and yeah. uh, it didn't really help but uh, i think it was okay in the end because we cannot just dancing for two hours like that but can you repeat what you just said it's okay that i was debugging and just taking yeah. time to debug um mm -hmm. because i don't think we would dance for two hours for example no i mean something that i have to say like that i i thought like i would like to talk of the, in this regard is so first like i thought that the experience was very nice very it, we never have done something like that i can say it was very intense uh i, I mean in the sense of tiring uh um, so we, what, what happened at the end like we were moving a lot because yeah i don't know i think i don't know what happened with so this, i don't know like one really strong element was the the video loop that you recorded live yeah <laughs> that was funny because then and it happens like the last time as well like because then you don't know where i'm 
explaining that, then I, I the first thing is like, I have a question and you thought actually that I have another question. And then you answer like, yes, and it, but, but it was just the video. And yeah, that and element <clears throat> always is like. That was really funny. But soon I noticed and then I was like, just pretended that it happened again with the same question. So I was already I saw, saying that, like just I because I remember what I said. So you were I was saying, saying some things in regards to that. Yeah, I, I saw you saying something like, yeah, yeah. Because True. then, well, I was not sure if you would notice that it was from the video or me saying that. Maybe it was clear for you. I don't know. No, yeah, it was clear for me. It was you because I can see your lips. Okay. Okay. <laughs> If if so, you are seeing the myself in like live, then you live live yeah because yeah. then since I have my three screens and the right screen is the output of BDMX, and the middle one I have BDMX, and in the left one is live lab. I see. Uh, well, today actually it was interesting because, like for the last practices, I was using the you know the multi window thingy that I today I was also using it, um, but mm -hmm. for the last time like. I had the, I always had live lab and, you know, the windows were like moving on top of it, mm -hmm. on top of live lab. But today I was doing it for some time. And then at the end, I just decided to uh, not to close, but minimize live lab. And oh. I only had the Google docs as a, like a big screen. The Google docs, what do you mean? The, the shared document. Oh, so that you have, ah, oh, yeah, of course. Now, now it makes sense because yeah, while I'm performing, I don't know what is happening. No, I'm just like trying to go with the flow, but now I, I understand. Yeah, of course your background was the, the text. True, and then course, the yeah. windows are moving and sometimes I, well, just twice, but I took the screenshot and pasted it in the document. Right, I see, yeah, that makes sense. What, yeah. It was really fun because like you also build up the document <laughs> as you perform or practice. Yeah. I like it. I mean, I like, I like that we are getting more. Uh, what I like from this session that we have lately is that we, in a way, I feel that we get more. It seems to me that the elements are getting more, they get more independence, you know, like before we were kind of like just using live lab and then just glitching and then doing effects that they were mm. working for what we do. But now it seems that we, although we do that, then as well, we slowly start like, like for instance, as you said, like in somehow for whatever reason, you decided to use a document as a background and that, and as well then, because I was using, I was over, no, I was using a negative contrast on that document. It was black sometimes on, on mine. Uh, so, yeah, it, from my perspective, it seems to me that these things that I call elements, it seems that they slowly they start, that we are getting more conscious of these things, you know, like, ah, okay, mm. maybe now I can this, maybe now I can that. Yeah, uh, I think um this uh, how do you say it composition or the stage design or something with uh, mm -hmm. the screen is really getting something and um like mm -hmm. before we were always thinking that live lab is always there but i think we're getting like we have more options mm -hmm. and live lab somehow became like just one element And it's not like True. always like we're not standing on top of life lab, but there are so many things we can play with. Yeah, I do agree. Uh, wait, not document. document. I really like when you took the, the, the fruit. I like when you had the fruit stuff. I really like that. If we I had it from the I beginning. Mean, <laughs> what? I, I left it on my desk from the beginning because I, I knew that I could play with it. Oh, so it was a conscious decision from you. Yeah, because I mean, I mean, I already did it before and, you know, it's nothing new, but <clears throat> but I was thinking like, I, I can, but I don't have to. But, you wow, know, that's, but, but that's, you know, that's what I mean. Like, I think we are getting advanced in that sense, like, because that's a conscious decision, like of you, you take the decision, like, I have the experience with this before and somehow this worked before. I might do it if I feel there is something that, that I mean, like if for some reason like you feel that you want to give agency to that element to become part of what you're doing just you will let it do be 
but you don't have to and you are conscious mm. of that and and i think it was a perfect time when i had the like the feedback of windows yeah yeah that was really fun i mean it's it's nothing new but it was fun well no, i mean from my point of view like from my point of view like choreographically speaking i i really think that we are getting advanced in this in, in this uh yeah, compositional wise of however we want to call it, uh, mm. that we are getting more conscious of what might happen. Uh, you know, like uh, I was just talking with somebody like with Adriano and yesterday when I when we finish, when when I know I was doing when I was when I finish. Then I. Um, then I met him on the, on the kitchen and then I told him I was doing something and then he. And then he kind of like was, he was saying something, but I was just decompressing from being four hours of, of, of just being working. Then I I kind of like, I, I think, I, yeah, I don't know exactly how I react. And, uh, and then I felt a bit guilty about it afterwards. Um, so, um, I just mentioned, so I just, I was just, when we finished, I went to smoke a cigarette in the smoking room now you know it <laughs> uh, and then he came as well like he was there so i, I expressed as well I, at the uh, he, he he saw that i was like you know like just decompressing from this and then he said like oh uh how are you and then i told him ah oh, we are just finishing and then i told him a bit, a bit of this and then i was uh yes that's what i was talking about this I was telling him that um, that what we do in a way seems to me because um, that we are consciously doing this uh, exercise of self dissociation, you know, like dissociation of the self. That in a way, like Judy Butler speaks, and we read this text with him, and uh, this is something that or Danielle speaks of, I mean, it's something that it comes in a way from this idea of like materialism, like when you really give agency to things, you know? So uh, yeah, somehow it's without going too deep into that. So basically it's like to, um, to consciously like uh, dissociate the self. So like the, the consciousness, like this thing that I have right now, it's me talking to you. This is my consciousness. This is my selfness in a way. And so when we do, when we are in the practice, then because there, uh, when you dance, for instance, because I was trying to, to, to say to him, like when we dance, you know, as the dancers, like you are trying to do that exercise with the body. You try to dissociate and let the body be, right? Um, then what? Uh, then the thing is what we do is like, we do that, but we multiply that with, with more elements. So, uh, if if you see if you see what I mean, um, something I was like while you were saying, I I was thinking, it's really something new that's coming out. Is we're not like what you said is not just about playing with the screen. Like we like I think at first like like sometime before like I was using I was conscious about you know like how. I was I'm captured with the camera and how how I appear in the space and how these effects that triggered and you know does something to me. That was like what I used to think. But like today, or like like for the last few practices, or like especially today, like what you said is totally true in a way that is like different from working with the the screen, like because windows start to move and we have, I don't know, like you had the video loop and we were like moving together while I was actually not really seeing you. And all these things are, it's, it's not really rational, <laughs> but we are like just making our own new, well, maybe not new, but um, not a standard, how, how to say it. It's a practice yeah. that is like, we're giving birth to some kind of new practice that yeah, is- so yeah, I think so because it, it seems to me that's what I, I say like in regards like to give it, it, it feels that it gives agency to things to happen and I think the proof of that is because 
I didn't understood just now that you're telling me that your background was your document. Like if we will start like, for instance, not in the practice, but in, in let's say in development time, because I'm in myself, then I will recognize that's the document. But because we are in the practice, I'm just, it's just, it's not the document, you know, it's just something that is there. And I just take it as, as, the, as, as the element that it comes. Uh, so I think as a, as a kind of like it proves this thing that to me that some of the things they are happening they are not just those elements anymore but they just start getting its own life and I think it works because also like I'm not just putting the document as a background but there I mean I was doing it but there was conscious decision that and it's not that I wanted to make it not obvious, but yeah, just just that's like the element. I was treating it as an element with, instead of, you know, just putting something interesting. Well, I don't know how to say it. It's just um, I thought I did it because it's not just it's interesting. But clearly, like, I thought that would be an agent or whatever that Yeah, okay, but th th that's cool, actually. Th this that you're saying is very cool because I didn't thought of that. But actually, what I wish I could do in the practice, or so I guess I do at some, in somehow, is that I wish to uh, give you agency to do things, right? So, and you just said like that your, your conscious decision of, of like using the, the, the document as a canvas was in order like to give agency for things to happen there. Mm. True. In a way, in a way, if you want to go even more crazy, in a way it's like, seems to me that we can dissociate your, yourself, like now that we can dissociate ourselves, like then you can go almost in the future, not consciously, that you can foresee what can be, what can happen if I allow this, you know, like if you say like that, I put the document because maybe some windows will be moving, maybe Jorge can like put a contrast and will become black. Um, I mean, you know, it's like, it seems to me that it's kind of like a, a leap in the future, you know, it's like when uh, play uh, chess players play, you know, because we already, we know each other, we more or less, we know where you could go, where I can go. Yeah. Now I just uh, noticed that <clears throat> the, the trash can on my desktop is, is called hiding because I renamed it during the practice. Really? Yeah. <laughs> but you, it was called like that before. It was um, the, the default name, recycle bin or whatever. That's and, funny. And oh, because I think because you said hide uh, right. things. And <clears throat> Because it's also true that um, for the last practices, because I know that the, this desktop will be captured, I just arrange the the you know the, the objects on the desktop to be hidden under the right. live lab. I like this. I like this. That I'm, I mean, maybe right now it doesn't mean that, that much, but it's hidden. Yeah, I like this thing of hidden because actually, it does we we. I mean, more than hit, hide, I think in reveal. You know, when, when I use the green key, is I'm not trying to hide things. I'm consciously more working towards revealing than to hide things. That will be more like a, yeah, like a masking process or something. And I'm more thinking constantly on, on revealing. And so what if we, I mean, what if is a, a in the brain, you, we do the exercise of hide instead of reveal. Hmm. That would be interesting. I didn't really think about hiding and revealing in the practice, though. I mean, it is happening, but uh, it's not, not, not something that I was consciously thinking yeah, revealing. because for instance today if i will if i will speak in that regard like when you were masking yourself then you then i then i will say then you hide yourself because it's just the shape of you 
I don't have I don't have your face anymore. And as well, you were having the shape in green as well. And um, so that's what I meant. Like while using the green key, it will say like it will reveal uh, in the way who I saw it today with you, the masking that you were doing were hiding you. What was the masking? Mask. So you mean like the one that I was cropping myself and putting exactly. something on yeah, top yeah. or just painting myself green? Yes, 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 both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These two, these two. Yeah, clearly. Then, then I will, I will call that in in, in this thing the language that I'm speaking. Uh, you were hiding. I mean, is is what I'm trying to to, to go with this is because this is just something that we are talking right now. Is it seems interesting because like these hide things, it seems like it comes from a a, a negative connotation, right? in a way, in my head. Yeah, yeah. I will think things more like, I will think more in, in towards, I'm showing something, you know? And I don't know if it has to be as well in, in a exercise of, you know, like with the ego and stuff like this, or what is it? But I think I associate the height with something uh, opaque, like down. Okay. Um, well, while, it's... yeah, sorry. Go ahead. No, 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 please. Well, it's interesting that you mentioned that part when I was in front of the green screen and somehow I was painting myself uh, like the green color so mm. that it just becomes green. <laughs> I was I was trying to do something like that was the time I was trying to do something with the videos and because we said we, we were going to use videos and I was struggling a lot because I didn't know how to play with the videos. Like I could put video in the background with a green screen and I can be on top of it. Yep. But this was like, it was boring. Like, you know, we know what it is. And it, mm. and then I didn't really do the feedback stuff because I thought it's gonna be really, like becomes out of control in a way that it's just becomes mess and it's not really like interesting mess, but it's just mess and end up with another feedback, whatever. <clears throat> mm. And, but at the end, I was really happy with how it came out because it became like kind of like a convolution of, you know, the feedback and green screen and this mirroring and all these things and windows were moving all over. And that was really like, I didn't really think about how to use videos, but somehow like adding things, but like giving room for other, not effect, but other elements to um to how do you say like stand out or to do something right so the okay. feedback is not too strong i mean it was strong at one moment and the movements were not really strong or it can be strong but it still gives room for other elements and that at the end it went really nice that I had multiple windows. I was seeing myself sometimes. I was seeing your, you sometimes, and I was hearing you, also hearing your video loop, and that really came nicely together at the end. And I was really not happy yeah. with the, the the green body part because it was too obvious. But maybe it mm. was needed for the know. the last I... thing to emerge. <laughs> Because what, what I'm thinking now is that, wait, wait where, I, where am I? I was thinking that, yeah. <clears throat> so I think we could agree that there are things that there are, there are, there are interesting things, like for, in terms of motion, uh, you know, when at some point we understood that we wanted to move with the words. So we both started like just moving when the words were appearing. Mm. And that was cool, like these kind of things. And there are different elements that were that, that are interesting. Yeah, that was and really fun. Was and I was thinking, oh, like this is like a bad version of Ivo Dimitrov. But anyways. Why? So he, he was, he, he, they, I don't know. That's this kind of, um, was, I, I, I saw like, a, not, it was not a pr uh, workshop, but some kind of you know, lecture performance kind of thingy. And it was like demonstrating this, um, like saying yeah. words or <clears throat> just like, uh, you know, yeah, like saying words and moving with it. Emotion. Yeah. True. And I was like, okay, like it's like a bad bad copy of that. <laughs> because I was not like I was not completely 
focusing on the words anyways but so i mean <clears throat> okay so th those are like so what, what i think i was trying to say is that so that we agree they are interesting elements that's 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 granted um two things then one thing is to say it, um it takes so it takes so much room still like to setting up until we feel comfortable like um okay this time maybe we took we took it to to chill because we knew we have two hours i don't know but it takes certainly like, it took me uh like took me like like 45 minutes i guess i could have done it maybe in 30 20 i guess if i move um but what i'm what i'm saying is that it certainly takes time until i found myself in in a place where from where i can start playing with the elements it takes time the setting up that's something that yeah so that's one thing that i would like to reflect about it and the second thing is that because of the last part we were tired like something that i wish i, I, I we could um get i guess more experience in that is uh, or to have to find more language is that how can we share that we are tired and we want just to drop it and coming back you know mm -hmm. without the need necessarily you know like there are some things for instance like when i have a question then i just drop we were at some point when i asked you we were both in a really interesting place right we were like doing something and i said i have a question and then, and i was a bit laughing but i thought this is part of what we do um and it was okay but that's different than like the last part the last seven minutes ten minutes i feel that it was i felt already i have nothing to say you know i feel like mm -hmm. what i mean how can we share something in that regard you know uh in whatever direction it needs to go uh, because i still think for now because i was question questioning about that now that i still think that we have to, we should keep it the timing that we set you know like let's say it is one hour then we stay in one hour recording um i was questioning already today that like maybe we could be more flexible you know but mm -hmm. i think for now this thing of time because it's so complex i think it works that we have a set it that we agree um but maybe in time could be nice to think like you know we get so uh, flexible and relaxed with things that are happening that we perhaps we can in a way or even say it or just like cut it you know um but i think it's a level of complexity because it demands more dissociation of understanding this is it uh to, um, to but, really like finish i mean not doesn't finish okay yeah because i mean for instance like uh sorry to interrupt you but i just I, I wanted to so if i if we uh my, my understanding is like our base is time we share um, we start from time because that's the first thing that we do is like time is and then we have an agreement that it goes from one hour after after one hour we close the, the, the recordings so that's the the base the contract that we have from the beginning is time um so the what i'm saying is that because time i mean the, at some point in the, in the chat we were talking trying to talk about time time is something that is just it, it's, it's such a thing um that i think that eventually at some point we can play with that with the time as an element uh but then it will take us time until we can be there i think for now like a, a, a stick to what we propose as time frame it's fine and then maybe to go back to what i was trying to say is that yeah that in the last minutes i uh that i feel that okay i'm tired how to share that space of being in and out without the need to tell you now to i don't know because even yeah, that yeah, even, yeah. Like, even it could be that i tell you like 
I'm getting tired, you know, like, but just that honestly, then we could just do something with that space. Hmm. I think it's really interesting. Um, first of all, I think I could, like today I thought I could go more. So I, I knew I was getting tired, but I, it was like, I could go more. Yes, uh, that's true. So that's, that's something I was feeling. So um, like, I feel like whatever you said or did, I would take it as a performance. So even if you said, okay, I'm tired, let's finish here, then I would probably react it in a way that, I don't know, maybe I repeat it some, like what you said, or like just make it, you know, like something out of it. Um, this, is, this is so interesting because actually if I think, I mean, this for me, coming from, from my background in dance, then it seems very, very likely I was, I will experience in dance performances, you know, like then when I'm tired, then I get energy from the performer. And that's that's amazing because in a way, like those things come from embodiment. Like, you know, when you are in the space with somebody sharing the sweat, you get that from the other person, you recycle the energy. Mm -hmm. And that's true because I put it on the text. I say like, I keep on trying. I say that because I was just tiring. And then you just like, you keep on doing. And then at the end, it was actually at that, at that moment that we start moving more because I was checking constantly the time when I said I keep on trying was about 54. So it means six minutes of movement. So I was tiring and I was getting in that atmosphere. How can I share that I'm tired? Um, and then you start just doing something and I just got in the loop. And then this tiredness became something else. Yes. Hmm. And I think, let's say, what if you like logged out? Um, I'm just thinking like how I would react. Like if I just get out. Yeah. If I, if I close, I mean, that, I mean, that's, that's what I was trying. That's what I was trying to say when I mentioned about the time, I think we should not go there because it's very complicated. No. Because like something that I could have done because I did it, like I went to pee one time. Uh, so then is the contract is this it stays for one hour. So I can I can leave the room. I can do whatever I need to do. But then we finish the in one hour. Um, yeah. It's just like a really random question. Can we set the timer on OBS? A timer then that you can see it on the. I mean, on the recording. that's one thing, but also like, I'm pretty sure there's like add on to, you know, automatically finish the recording at uh, one hour. One hour. Yeah. Anyways, that's just right. Yeah, I'm, sure, I'm sure there is something. Uh, but but um, yeah, like if we cut the practice, like you said, I think it would make sense. Like if you just leave the room or, you know, just, just do something else, but just keep the recording and keep being online. And um, what I want to say is like, even if you, like, I, I don't think you would look out, but even if you did, I think I would just keep doing it until the, like today, two hours. Because yeah. it's, it's actually interesting to think about it because it's really not about, um, it's not about doing it together in a sense. It is, but it's also not. How? Because it's, uh, it's really weird to think. I mean, if we're in the same space, then it's doing something together. But with this setup, I feel it's like, it's, uh, it's just about myself in a way that uh, somehow we share the space, let's say, but, but ultimately it's, it's for myself. This two hours is like, I do it with you, but it's, but it's, 
not doing together in a way mm. and and again like maybe that's because you're like just one element yeah like a window yeah, but it's true. yeah yep i mean yeah i don't take it personal <laughs> <laughs> like if, if, you, if you will say that to me right now i will feel a bit <laughs> different like now too you are just one element right now <laughs> you're not existing wait give me a second i need to be yeah so i start my monologue but uh i yeah i did this monologue before to to talk about the time because this is something that jorge cannot see uh listen right now but i'm just saying this and record it and it's going to be uploaded somehow and jorge can see it later um but it's not like this moment so he's missing this part of the, the, the discussion. Um, and it's actually, but this is also an element in a way because this gap, this space that I, I, I'm enjoying is part of the element, especially because Jorge is not here, that actually his absence is giving birth to another type of element which i'm just making up but i think it's really interesting and uh i hope uh jorge can catch up later uh when he watches this recording and what else i mean like absence is always like makes me think of semiconductor because um opposite of electron is the what they call hole, which is the missing electron that gives positive, um, how do you say, elect not electricity, um, capacity? No, I, I don't know in English, but um, okay, you're back. This is, I mean, I mean, now it's, I think like we are getting, I don't know who is doing these kind of things. Like, I don't know, like, I don't, I don't know, but, we are getting into weird spaces because like it's so weird that, we, that we found this normal you know that i just go and you keep on talking and then i open the door and then just i know that you are talking to me and the video that i will that i can catch up that in the near future and that doesn't matter that yeah. i don't need to ask you right now exactly this is getting this is getting <laughs> the metal i mean we go into so many dimensions so 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 yeah and I think I think I said something really important, so you have to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> there is the teaser. There is the teaser. <laughs> exactly. There's the teaser. But you know it, the viewers. You know it already, because you just watched it. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe we should like end somewhere around here, unless. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Wait. Let me think. Think. So yeah, I think one thing that I will <clears throat> say like to look into the future is how to share, how to, how to be in and out, you know, like we can do that with questions. Like that's, that's, how, that's what I mean with in and out. Like for, if I would put an exercise like in dance that I learned from Zambrano is that and when you're doing dance, let's say if I'm moving, then I have with all. Then I go with all the, the power. I go with all the the force that I have, and whatever is that that, that I do. Then uh, the image that he uses is like when you. If my intention is going here, right, with the full uh, body embodiment, then it's like, how can I? While I'm here, how can I? You know, somehow like freeze myself, like in a cinema. Like you stop the, the, the movie, then you do what you need to do. You know, you drink water or something, whatever. And then you are like completely normal, not in a state of like, <gasps> of whatever, or freeze. But then you are completely normal. And at some point you catch it back from that moment. Like in a cinema, like a, a frame that you go completely with the full energy. So and that's an analogy that uh, it works very well like in dance uh, I, uh, I have this analogy from cinema how to drop it be normal and catch it right away from what was it uh, so not always but as a composition element it works because then sometimes you can really stop as freeze and sometimes just you stop you drop it keep on talking then just keep on and then you go 
it gives you more uh, composition uh, elements. Yeah. So this is what I was mentioning. With the questions, we do it because there is a nature intrinsic in the practice that about the questions. That's something that already we have developed with, with our agreements. It's like, if there is a question, we just drop it, do go to the question, go back. Uh, but if it's not the question, then there's something that I that's I, I, something that I would like to say, like to think into the future. How can we share that space? Hmm. I guess we'll see. Um, like one thing, just just random thing I came up with is the development was technical development, but can we do different kinds of development in terms of like composition or movement or whatever, or is it something that we don't need? Yeah, or even, no, no, I, I completely, I think that's this that you said, I have it in my head and I couldn't verbalize, like you just like, uh, because it could be even just, could be a text you know for some reason then just we come together and we want to read something you know or you want to show me a video or there is some for some reason there is something that we want to share um and that is still is towards developing the practice of that of that day um yes i will agree completely with you But I guess um, we'll do another practice on Friday. I mean, I think Friday okay. I'm available. I think but Saturday, Friday, whichever is fine, or both. Yeah, I think we said Friday. If I, I mean Saturday, I think I, uh, we. Yeah, said Saturday we, we said, and uh, I was not sure about Friday, but I'm open, so. Like, yeah, I put it here as a question mark, like uh, Saturday. That Saturday will work better with me. Okay, then we just do it on Saturday, and then so maybe what we could do is then uh, because then as well my day as well is long, and then we just met in the morning, maybe not at nine thirty, but maybe at ten. Yeah, sure. And then we see we see yeah. how do we want to organize, and I think is nice because already we are getting fluid in these things. Yeah, that's what uh, I want to say. Cool. It's a super. I mean, I'm super motivated. Like we are getting like so much. It's you know what I think is cool is because it seems that it's like the 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 fruit of like one year of work because it will not happen if we will not have been sharing the practices for one year almost you know like now we are like we are super fluid in this thing you know like even with the technical problems and stuff like we are really like it's so fluent the things how, how they move like tech always fail and then <laughs> yeah and then it's, <laughs> it's part of the thing. Like, the la and the last time for it as well in terms of language uh that not necessarily means that you agree with me or i agree with you but yet we can uh uh go further in whatever that we are doing for instance the last week i was trying to introduce this idea of this that i talk differently all the time of the elements and how to give agency to make them really to take life and then if we if we really think what we were talking about in this chat that it was clearly is that this thing was very much alive to, to in, in in this practice of today now i'm really curious to see one of the first chat like how what were we talking about <laughs> and did we really have a conversation or not <laughs> i don't know we had from the even before best practice but anyways um yeah let's let's wrap up and uh i, I don't think maybe we, need we, maybe, we can do, maybe we can do that uh, as an exercise if you want is like randomly try to we can try to go and try to find something from the chat that you find funny or interesting or something and then we just can talk like wow we were talking about this then hmm it's there so cool, are so man. many, I, so many interesting things. Like I think I, I really, I'm really enjoying the space because there's so much. 
uh, so much going on. There's so much going on. I feel very, I feel like in the flow, like, you know, like, oh yeah, this is so cool. And it, you know, it's like, as well, I feel, as I said before, like embodying the sense, like you recharge, uh, I feel there is a loop, energetic loop uh, that I feel there is amazing because you are not here. So uh, when you said, I said I was tired because I was tired. And then just, you said, I could go, I could go on for a few hours. I mean, like more. And then I was like, wow, that's cool. You know, there's a, uh, yeah, it's a, it feel, it's a nice feeling. Okay, so thank you for say, watching. <laughs> and please subscribe. Yes, because I I have just I think two people in my channel, and one of those oh. is myself. <laughs> <laughs> so for the other person that I don't know who is it, uh, yes, uh, if somebody subscribe to the channel, it would be nice. Or just like, yeah, like the video. Don't don't like like. Don't. <laughs> Do this. Bye. Bye, -bye.